Uh, my name's Felix, uh, I'm from Devon, and my robot is Rev. It's a nice undercutter. I'm going to go for wheels, I'm going to try and go underneath people's machines, take the wheels out, take the hubs out, take screws that are sticking out of the bottom, and then you just try and cause some mayhem, if it works. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. I'm a big fan of designs of machines like Maximum Ogre Drive because they've got great style and control and you're seeing that immediately. A Maximum Ogre Drive there, well, what you'll see is that saw arm at the moment will come down and it'll start sliding. Oh, Red straight through the back of Rev 2. serious problems now. Maximum Ogre Drive have got them in their clutches, they're not letting go and that saw's coming down and causing serious damage oh. and problems to that machine. I think he's coming down, he's, he's coming straight down, and that's going to cut right into the electronics of that robot. You're seeing the little wedge that's there on either side, just pin it perfectly into the sidewall. Down goes now. the pet. He's got a limited time, he can hold on to them at the corner to do that. Oh! But sending sparks flying in the corner, loving it. We're loving it too, here in the commentary box. This is fantastic work from Ogre Drive. Getting in there, powerful drivetrain and just slamming straight into the back and slicing straight through the back of Rev 2. That is a great display of tactics there, using the effective design of the robot perfectly. It's got Rev 2 in its clutches, it's not giving it a chance to get out and get that undercutter disc into play. That disc could cut right down, right through the drive motors if you brought it down far enough. We're going to need to see movement soon. <laughs> Ref, they're reminding Rev2 that they need to be able to display that they can control. That's right, Activate has been called, lads. Come on, you've got to get out there. Ogre Drive, ooh, catching on the floor. That wedge is so low to the ground. Rev2 trying to spin up, but Ogre Drive just not giving him a chance. The crowd grow restless as Maximum Ogre Drive continues to control this oh, fight. A wheels come off of Rev2, that's going to make it seriously hampered for maneuverability. Finally got the weapon up to speed, but it doesn't make much of a difference now if you can't move it into position. It is in a dire situation now. It has got one wheel up there. There's the other one. No wheels on my wagon and you ain't going nowhere, sunshine. <laughs> Maximum Ogre Drive spinning in celebration as the countdown comes to a close. That is a win for Maximum Ogre Drive. Very stylishly done. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Great range of robots in this fight. The undercutter, the thwackbot, and the crusher. You notice it on- Oh, oh the wheels already. come off, Dr. Thwackenstein's challenge. Nine, eight, That's such a shame. Seven, there comes six, the countdown for them. Five. Four, Meanwhile, Rev three, two, two, causing some problems there. Oh, uh, so one. is she back in? She has moved out of her range. So Dr. Thwackenstein is technically back in, I believe. Need to release. Snippers McGee. Meanwhile, Hit. Snippers McGee is trying to get Rev two pinned into the corner to stop the disc going. Putting the pressure on. Down goes the pet. You notice on the front of the nose of uh, Snippers McGee is a little extension he's got in to try and lift up the front of the Rev 2 because Rev 2 won't run on its back. It's a very clever idea. It's not paid off for them so far. Ooh, big Rev hit from two. Rev 2, Ooh. firing parts about. Debris flying across the arena floor. Rev 2 definitely has been given a chance to show off but, the power of its undercutting blade. But Rev 2 having drive issues still. Snippers McGee determined that he's going to still in this fight. Oh. The Wackenstein's out. So Swackenstein is definitely out now. The waggling so self right the waggling there. Waggling stick is still McGee. going. Still going. And nice to see the wheels still on Rev 2 as well. Yep. The disc, however, is stopped. I wonder if that's because it's lost the belt or if he's just stopped it to see where the count was going down. Snippers McGee for me. Drive problems. The little tickling, waggling self rider of Snippers McGee is moving, but the actual drive is suffering now as Rev 2 smashes into the arena's sidewall. 
The, dri the drive on both these robots has taken quite a while. Oh, and here comes the count on Snippers McGee. Not looking good. Rev only just moving above it. They're not moving through their own turning circle, and that's them out. Rev 2 back into the competition. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Flick with those updated side panels. Will it pay off? Or will it struggle to move? It looks a lot slower than it did. It oh! oh! Shattered to pieces! It's detonated it, taking the drum and everything with it. It's still driving. It's still driving. As Tom has said, it's still driving. <laughs> But so no much for those words. side panels. Yeah, they're sacrificial side panels, all right. They've taken the whole thing with it. I didn't realize the drum was sacrificial as well. The whole Rev robot's two. sacrificial at this rate. It's the undercutter. Enables. Rev 2 coming out of nowhere. Absolutely trashing it. You'll notice Rev 2 has changed their weapon from the disc to the bar just to get a better contact on this. And my word, has it worked. If you look at the front there, that's Flick's battery hanging out the front of there. As far as I'm concerned, that's a dangerous situation. The referee Surely needs the to fight call it. has to be stopped now. For the sake of safety, because if the battery's hit, it could cause major problems and a fire risk. I think we're going to have to call it. It's going to go up in flames, yeah. right? Do you want to call it? You want to call it? Yeah. yeah. Stop, yeah. stop. Cease. stop and deactivate robots. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. So in comes Maximum Overdrive. Rev 2 getting its disc up to speed, hoping to take the wheels out of Overdrive. Massive slam there again, sending Maximum Overdrive careening into the sidewall and once more, sending it for a full 360. Overdrive, oh, the oh there goes gone. a wheel! Oh, a the wheel's come off! On. Ten, Maximum Overdrive, nine, now the countdown eight, begins. Seven. Six, can can they drive work its way four, out or has more gone three, than we can see? Two, oh, what one, a fantastic two, victory, two, Rev 2. Rev 2 coming from a loss to Ogre Drive in the very first match of this heat. And there's the wheel, the trophy. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Now can that front blade of Snappy negate that undercutting disc? And it certainly can. So far it up can. Up and over the top. Rev 2 trying to spin up. If Rev 2 gets in underneath and gets the wheels of Snappy, that will be it. But They're right going to have now, to go oh. for a side on a rear attack. That is if they Nine, can move. What on earth has happened to Rev eight, 2? He's seven, left Rev 2 on his upside down and Rev 2 five, stated in his first episode four, his one weakness is he can't three, run upside down. Two, Snappy, what five, did you do? Put a voodoo yeah. curse on the arena? Snappy out of nowhere is pulling an absolute blinder. Could he actually go all the way? Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Interesting mix of spinners here. All three of these machines with that particular type of weapon, but different styles as they come smashing together. There's SCD taking a knock against K2 there. Rev 2 with the big undercutter, trying to get to the wheels of his opponent. Oh, massive slam there. K2 taking a big hit there from SCD, pinballed across the arena once again. There's SCD spinning up to speed there in the bottom corner of the arena as K2 and Rev 2 come into contact pit with one another. Enabled. That's the pit release tire enabled. That's what K2 seems to be going for as Rev 2 takes a slam there in the bottom corner from SCD. The pit release tire has been activated. Down goes the pit. K2 hanging back there. Appears to have lost oh, his weapon. Another oh. massive attack there as SCD goes flying across the arena. I think that was Rev 2 that smashed into the side of it. Rev 2 may have done as much damage to itself though, if you look, it's no longer driving oh. properly on one side and takes another big hit from SCD. SCD just getting spun up and once it gets spinning, you'll notice those lights in the corner to help work out which way's the front. Oh. Oh. Bounced away there, almost ending up in the pits. Oh. 
Lack of control, perhaps, here. Conceal their oh, feet. And SCD out. Stems on and out. SCD out of the competition. We're down to two. K2 and Rev2. Sparks beginning to fly there. But what's happened with Rev2 here? Oh, no, they're free. Rev2 having difficulty moving across the floor. This could either be a drive problem or it could just be it's taken some hits from the side from SCD and it's risen one of the wheels up just enough to make it difficult for it to move. Oh, it's, it's like going 16 rounds with Conor McGregor. He's got no legs left on him. K2 weaponless. Its only weapon now is just the power of that four-wheel drive system. K2's bar has been disabled for a very long time in this fight. Rev2 with that lack of drive, K2 is using the force of those knocks from Rev2's blade to send it spiraling towards the pit, surely. Any second now, the and it's in. K2 surviving the loser's melee to come back and make it for a place in the finals. The egg beater, hang all. Hopefully he can repair it before he has to fight next. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. So the ideal tactic for a wedge against the spinner, I'm going to break your fist with my face. X301 up in the corner, oh, smashing. Oh, what the earth was that massive smash there? X301, who was that? Someone just crashed out of the arena. I think it was Big Wedge Energy just got launched out of the arena by X301. But in the process, spinny, spinny. X301 has killed itself, so that was a mutual destruction. Mini pit Spitty going for 8-bit warrior there by the pit. This is insanity defined. Good boy on one wheel already. Activate the pit and he's taken out his teammate. Good boy, what are you doing? 8-bit warrior's gone down the pit. We still have Sir Lancer Frog and Good Boy. Good boy limping around the arena on one wheel. However, all the spinners are now hunting him. It's like a pack of what a gigantic hit there from Mini Spinny. It sent it careening across the arena. Now under pressure Sparks by Sir everywhere. It's like a fireworks display in the arena. Oh, and Mini Spinny just That's opened itself. Them. Got Rev 2, which appears to have stopped spinning. Pinwheel, which has broken itself. Protecting what's left of the wedge bots. Oh, Standing up well. X301 hasn't moved since that massive hit on Big Wedge Energy. That's Pinwheel there as well. They're long dead. They've just parked up there. They're obviously not working. Rev2 trying to push. Good boy into the pit. Well, Sir Lancer Frog is trying to come in behind him and turn him over or repeat the performance and shove him into the pit himself. And it's coming. Good boy is gone. Using the tried and tested tactic of being one sneaky boy, but it's not working. Rev2 trying. If Rev2 can spin up, this could go really badly for Sir Lancer Frog. But it Sir looks Lancer like that Frog weapon has been disabled. Lifting that jaw to try and use it like a clamp almost on Rev2. Lancer Frog took some massive hits and it's barely even grazed it. It's amazing, that robot. You can see the lance bent, buckled. Still effective, though. Big chunks out of the front of the wedge on the front of Sir Lancer Frog. And he's still driving around and still getting underneath Rev2. Rev2 trying to keep that disc facing towards him and make it difficult for him. Lancer Frog trying the same <laughs> taunting tactic. Them. Taunting them. Come and get me. Come but and get me. it's not working. Rev2 is not that done. Rev2 with the, for the spinny boys. Pushing it into the Lancer Frog. Oh, oh so, so close to going in. Both of them levitate on the edge. So Lancer Frog moving around to get around the edge of the pit. And so moving Lancer Frog on. Rev2 for the wedges. Rev2 for the spinners. It's turned into a pushing match. Could Rev2 actually push out of there and get back on it and push the Lancer Frog back Stop. away from the pit? The but they appear robots. to have stopped. They're both stuck together. What is this? A tie? No. Are we going to the judges? I think we got to give kudos to, to Rev2. Yeah, it was uh, hanging on in the end, trying to trying to push the wedge in the pit. So trying to wedge a wedge. That's that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I think Rev2 is the real hero of this match, at least at least for the spinner side. That's reflected in the main competition results as well. Uh, but no, thanks guys. Give it up for Team Spinner. The winners are Team Wedge.